everybody. I'm Maria Bellamy from Breathitt County, Kentucky, and this is the Rosie O'Donnell Show. On today's show, Martin Sheen, Joan Cusack, and cooking with Rosie's buddy, Marjorie Johnson. Hit it, John! Maria, come on down here. You come with her. This is a story you're going to love. Nice Rosie. to meet you. How are you? I oh, think I'm nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Tell everyone what you do for a living. I teach high school. And oh, I didn't want to cry. That's all right. You can cry. It's a great story. I just heard it backstage. I thought, my God, it's, it's like a Dateline episode. <laughs> all right. You're a teacher. Mm -hmm. You were a student. Yes. She was a good teacher. Great teacher. Phenomenal teacher. And she encouraged you to what? Um, well, I grew up in a small town in Jackson, Kentucky, um, and I wanted to get into the movies. I wanted to write. I wanted to act. And of course, that's not something you really do back there. Right. <laughs> and my mom was like, get a real job. And she was my English teacher, and she just really encouraged me to write. And my senior year in high school, she started a drama program because I was bugging her all the time that we should start one. <laughs> and she did. It was like the first one. And she... I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing with drama, but, you know, we tried. <laughs> and you did plays and everything. Yeah, yeah. We, we got books. <laughs> and then we did some, some things just in the community, you know. Right. So, so you wrote a letter to Fine Line Films. Uh, new, oh, new, to new Line. I, I actually work at New Line. You work at New Line. You right. wrote them a letter. I, well, I, yeah, I had a letter. Actually, I wrote it to the producers here. Um, no, no, but originally, years ago. Oh, yes. You wrote a oh, letter to oh, the yes. movie this is, studio. This is a good story. Okay. It's a good story. So this is like, this is, no, in 1985, um, I wrote a letter to the head of uh, New Line Cinema, Bob Shea, and I didn't know anything about the movies, and I'd written a story idea for a sequel to A Nightmare on Elm Street. And they sent it back to me because they don't take unsolicited material, but I wrote them back a kind of a nasty letter, and I said, look, I've spent, you know, I've seen five of your movies, I've spent $25 on you, so take five minutes and look at it. <laughs> and he did. He read it, and he wrote me back a very encouraging letter, and was like, you know, you have a great imagination. It's not really that strong, but keep it up. And I ended up getting an internship at New Line Cinema about seven years later, um, and I've been there ever since. And uh, today being St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, yes. There's a movie opening right. called Final Destination. Final Destination. And who was it written by? Um, it was co-written co by me and James Wong and Glenn Morgan, who uh, work no, on the X-Files. No, no, no. First of all, first of all, my boy wrote the story. He wrote the first draft. And then they brought the other two in. You know, they put okay. some X-Files spin on it, you know. Right. And it's a but, fabulous movie. I saw it Monday night. Thump, thump, thump. I don't go to scary movies. Me either, but uh, I'll go to this one because uh, I love the yeah, story. Yeah. So you said if you ever got to be a famous screenwriter? I would bring her to New York <laughs> for the opening of the movie and take her to see whatever she wanted to see on Broadway, and I brought her up here. Um. I told them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I love it! <laughs> I told him. I told him when he was in high school. I said, "When you're at the Academy Awards, I'm there too." <laughs> and so when this movie sold, and he, he called to tell me, you know, I said, "New York. If I could be in New York, there's two things I want to do. I want to see Rosie O'Donnell, and I want to go see The Lion King." And he said, he wrote a letter. And That's okay. It's all right, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get worse. Because I have a surprise for you. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought I would be in the audience, you know, and I would get to watch a taping of the show, or, you know, be here live or whatever. And instead, I'm on this side of the camera, which is <laughs> really <laughs> exciting. And you're going to see The Lion King tonight. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. The Lion King. Thank you. Thank you. As well Thank as you. the premiere. That's a great yeah. story. It really well. is. You know, there are so many teachers who change kids' lives. I mean, there were many in my life. One, Pat Maribel, who was my math teacher, and I could never do math. And she became a mother to me, and uh, she really did. Took me to the doctor for the first time when I needed to go to the doctor as a young 15-year-old girl. And she really uh, became a parent, and teachers are so undervalued in our country. And when you think of the life that you changed, and this is just one, and all the many that you've taught along the years, it's really amazing. I don't really know amazing. what I did, though. 
You must have done <laughs> something right, Maria, because... Uh, Apparently. And you, mister. <laughs> and you brought her like you promised. <laughs> the cutest <laughs> opening announce of the year. Thank you very much. Thank have you. a great Thank time. So Final Destination is the movie. Go see it. We'll be, uh, we won't be back. We're going to say hi to John McPhee, and I'm going to go over there. Oh, they're so sweet. That's great. So great, isn't it? Wonderful. So funny when you're a young kid and you know so, so positively what it is that you want to do. Yep, you have a focus. So. Yeah, my husband.